Hello everyone and welcome to Depth First. We will be solving this question of finding the kth largest element in an array. That is lead code question 215. All right, so let's first read up the question. It says, given an integer array nums and an integer k, return the kth largest element in the array. Note that it is the kth largest element in the sorted order, not the kth distinct element. You must solve it in O of n time complexity. Let's take a minute to understand the problem and what is it exactly that they are asking for. So let's consider their first example, which has, a, so they provided a, as part of the input a nums array and k is equal to 2. So what that means is uh, they want us to find the second most largest element in this array. Now, the first instinct that comes to my mind is like, what if uh, we sort this array in an ascending order? If that's the case, then the second most largest element would be the second element from the end. So, so that being said, uh, in this particular case, that means that element is 5, which is also the correct output for this example. Let's now review their second example. So here, k is equal to 4. So what that means is they want us to find the fourth largest element in this array. Now, again, if we were to like just sort this array, that would mean they want us to return the fourth largest element from the end. So in this case, that would be the number four, which is also the correct output for this example. So there are a few different ways or a few different approaches that we can take to solve this question. And let's review uh, a few of them. So the first one is what we just discussed, is to sort the array and look for the kth element from the end. Now, if you use like uh, an efficient sorting algorithm, whether it's quick sort or merge sort, the time complexity for that would be O of n log n, where n is the number of elements in the nums array. The second approach is to use a heap. The time complexity for that would be O of n log k, where k is the kth largest element that we need to find. So the third approach is using the classic partition algorithm. And uh, uh, with this algorithm, we can solve this question in O of n time complexity, which is what the lead code question also asks us to do. So it's a very good technique to learn, and I would highly encourage you to learn this because this partition algorithm can be applied uh, in solving other questions such as quicksort or Dutch national flag. Um, so for the remaining part of this video, I'm going to walk you through uh, the approach using heap. But please check out the second part of this video that I have linked in the description where I solve it uh, using partition in O of n time complexity. We will be using a min-heap data structure to solve this problem. And first, just let's, let's briefly review what a min-heap data structure is. The min-heap data structure is really an array, but the elements in that array are arranged in such a way that each parent is less than or equal to its children. So this is also referred to as the heap property. Now, in this particular example or this array, what is a parent and who are its children? Now, the first element of the array is always the parent. And you can calculate its left child by using the formula 2 times i plus 1, where i is the index of the array. And the right child can be calculated as 2 times i plus 2. So the first element in the array is always the parent. Now, if we apply the formula, the left child is at index 1 and the right child is at index 2. Now, the left child, uh, using that same formula, would be the parent for elements at indices 3 and 4. And similarly, the right child would be the parent for elements at indices 5 and 6. So this, this particular example, or this particular array, satisfies the min heap property. Uh, also, if you uh, please take a note or if you notice, the, the elements in the array are not necessarily sorted. 
But the first element of this array will always be the minimum element and it will, this array will always satisfy the min heap property. Now, a min heap can also be represented as a binary tree. Each node is an element in the array and the number that you see above each node is the corresponding index in the array. All right, so let's walk through the algorithm step by step. So the first thing first that we need to do is initialize an empty heap. Now we'll start with the first element of the array and we'll step through one by one and we will push those elements into our heap data structure. So we'll start with three, we'll heap push three first, followed by two and then followed by one. Now the size of the heap has exceeded K so what we need to do now is heap pop. So heap pop will remove the smallest element of the array, which is the first element. Also, please uh, take a note that any time we heap push or heap pop a new element into a heap, it will rearrange the elements in such a way that the heap property is always maintained. So moving on, we will heap push five. The size has exceeded K again, and so we will heap pop. So how do we solve this problem or this question using a min heap? For the purposes of solving this question, we will be working with the first example that was provided to us, where K is equal to two. Now, since we want to find the Kth largest element, we will be using a min heap of size two. So we'll step through each and every element of the array and heap push it into our heap data structure. Now, the second the size of the heap exceeds K, we will heap pop. So once we have finished enumerating through the array, we will be left with K largest elements of which the first element would be the Kth element. And that is what we want to return as the answer. Moving on, we will heap push six. We will heap pop again as the size has exceeded K. We will then push the final element in the array, which is four. The size has exceeded K and we will heap pop, which removes four because that's the smallest element. So our heap contains K largest elements and the topmost element is the kth element that we want to return as an answer. And so the answer in this case is five. Let's review the code now. And hopefully the code is straightforward to understand after we have stepped through the algorithm in detail. Uh, we will step through each element of the array and heap push. If the size exceeds k, we will heap pop. And in the end, we will return the topmost element of the heap which is the kth largest. All right, so it's time to review the time and space complexity. The time complexity of this algorithm is O of n log k. Now, the reason for that is every time we push an element to a heap, either whenever we push or pop an element to a heap, the time complexity for that is log of k. And we end up doing n times. So that's why it's O of n log k. Now do recall when we try to solve this problem using sorting, the time complexity for that was O of n log n. So the performance is slightly better when we use heap. The space complexity is O of k. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if this video has helped you, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try my best to respond to them. Thank you again.